Hey. Welcome back to Guff Stuff Weekly. I'm Guff. I'm Javen. And? Today we're going to be talking about something near and dear to my heart. Wannabes. Wannabes. Or, yeah. Like the Spice Girls once said, if you want to be a gamer, you got to get with that game. That's true. Sad. Uh, we're talking about games that have sat in your library or on your wish list. Yep. And you've been meaning to play, but never really quite found the time. Right. Or just haven't purchased it because blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yep. Been there, done that a million times. Well, right. At least, how many games are on my wish list? What's your What's your number one? Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Okay, let me go to my Steam wish list because it's... I, I, I'm not sure it's RimWorld. It might have been Factorio because that's never on sale either. And RimWorld. RimWorld is only 20% off, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, they were the two games that have been on my probably wish list the longest. I want both of them. I just haven't... I know they're time commitments, and I know they're going to suck the life out of me. So, I've kind of just sat on them. Like, uh, I really have. If you're going for the single-player experience, go RimWorld. Okay. If you're going to play with somebody, do Factorio. Okay. That game is so much better with people. You can do it solo. Like, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fun to be had. Right. But, like, if you're playing with friends and a committed group of people working towards the cause, it's pretty fun. Okay. Although it can get pretty spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah, you know, like, it's satisfactory when you go to build a factory... And then you're like, yeah, and then you find the resource, and you realize you got to pipe more in. Yeah. And eventually, you look at it from the top of the mountain, and you're like, oh my god, what have I made? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That's Fair. that's the spaghetti. Fair enough. Um. Yeah. Let's start with the games that are in your library yep. that you haven't touched, but Amazing. you've been meaning to. Oh gosh, a lot of them. Amazingly enough, I just I just installed a game. That I've been wanting to play for a while, and I've played like a minute of it. Then I got busy with something else. Escalation. Escalation? What's that? It's about? A Ashes of Singularity. It's a. Uh, what's StarCraft? What kind of game is that? My brain just. RTS. Shot. Yeah, RTS. It's an RTS that was created back, I think, 2019 or so. Okay. It was kind of a. It's a kind of a staged RTS, at least so far that I've understood. It looked good. The graphics are cool. I like the different tech that they had in it. I just, just haven't played it, man. I just, I just like, I don't know. I just haven't got to it. Okay. Sadly. Any others that come to mind? Yeah, Kerbal Space Program. Oh yeah, that's, an, that's. I've installed that one. I've I've turned it on, and then my son looks at me and goes, "You know, it's going to take you at least a week to learn the game." Yeah. No, I've I've I'm booted like, that oh. game up. I have like four hours in that game. I, I just. I made a rocket once that yeah. kind of went. Yeah. And then I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I, yeah, I got 20 minutes into it. And that's basically just the two I've basic even watched, two. I've even watched videos on it. Yeah. Just, Mike's like, yay, uh, you know, it's going to take you forever. But once you get it figured out, it's just a great game. I'm like, well, that's okay. Yeah, that would probably be my two. The one, the one I actually, that's one that I actually have in my two that I have in my library that I have just started playing. And then I got sidetracked for the other game. Mountain Blade, kind of want to play those. Oh, ones. Bannerlord! Yeah, any of the any of the Mountain Blades. Warband right. is awesome. I've had Bannerlord. A guy gifted it to me when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Still have yet to touch it, and I put so many hours into Warband. Interesting. I think that's probably the limits of the games that I actually own that I haven't played. Lots of games I own on my thing. I they were just humble bundle games that I purchased, and then I just started giving away all my games yeah. to humble bundle. I have so many games installed. On my oh, computer, yeah. that I'm like, I'm gonna play this, and it just sits there. Yeah. No. How about you? Uh, for me, your first, your first game that you really want to play that you just haven't played because well, I'm, I'm looking through the other list. things always get in the way. I'm, I'm looking through the list, and like, there's so freaking many of them. Honestly, number one, Rain World. Rain World. I've heard of that. Um, it's a it's a game with like a simulated ecosystem. Yep. And you play a slug cat, which it's it's, it's like a mutant cat. Yeah, yeah, mutant. And cat. like, so there's no dialogue in the game. There's no talking. It's just you run around, you try to eat things and survive. And apparently, like, I've looked into the game a little bit. 
And like the lore is okay. immense. Like it's crazy. I gotta look. This it up game now. is insane. Make sure I'm thinking the same thing you are. And uh, right. They released a DLC for it like five years after it came out, and it's like five times the size of the game. Like what it's crazy. F- Rick. Rain World Downpour. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's the. Oh, I have it in my library. Yeah, I own the game. Everybody has this game. Like what the heck? And like, I've played like thirty minutes of it, and like it was just too much for my brain at the time. But like, I keep always hovering over it. Like I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this, and I get sidetracked with something else. I literally own that game. Why have I not played? Okay. Well, I don't. Okay, a little slug dude. Gotcha. Okay. Intr- Weird. Dude. It's like a Metroid kind of, where it's a side-scrolling adventure. Kind of a platform type. But you can't fight anything. Side scroll. Yeah, that's weird. It's like a horror survival game oh. kind of at the same time. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, like it, it, like there's so many tags for it, but like the game is just so compelling to me, and I just like I want to play it. Right. But I never play it. Okay. I just never set aside the time to just go play Rain World. Right. Well, that's interesting. I guess I... Interesting. Yeah, no, I, I actually own that game. I've never installed it. never even looked at it, really. That's why it was familiar. Somebody I have... Here, let's see. Who's played this? You own it and another person. Okay. Another one that's, like, a big one on a lot of people's lists that I never just never <clears throat> got into. I played a little bit again. But just never, never did it. Um, Slime Rancher. Oh, that's a fun game, dude. I, I, I've oh, heard great wow. things about That's it. a great console game. Yeah, I, yeah, and it's like a good sit back and chill game. Yeah, it's a very chill game. I don't have game. a sit back and chill setup anymore. Right, right. No, it's a definite chill game. That's like, a, I, I, that's when I go sit on the couch with the Xbox. If I could have a controller with a control, sit, yeah, yeah. I, I would play it. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. I, I played number two also. And that's but they're both um, definitely entertaining games. Another game that is super compelling to me that I, I want to play, and I only have four minutes in it. I loaded it up once. <laughs> okay. I have it installed on all my computers. Like, it's there. I'm ready to play it. And I update it every time it comes up. Homeworld Remastered. Yeah, I think I own Homeworld too. I don't think I played it. Yeah, home. I own the Revolution. I don't know. It's Home Front. Never mind. Yeah, this is Home World. This home is an world. RTS set in space. Home world. Yeah. I'm gonna look that um, up it's now. mission based, I believe. Okay. I can um, dig. I can dig the more Home World RTSs. Um. Home, oh shit! Yeah, there we go. You at you the remastered one? You said. Yeah, Home World remastered. Oof, that looks fairly intense. Yeah, it's it's a it's like a stressful, full fledged RPG, or not RPG? Sorry, RTS. I, I think that better. might be a door a door getter. Another game I've had installed forever, bought it in early access the day it came out in early access, let it just germinate for a long time, never touched it, loved the first one. Right. AI War Two. Never played AI Wars at all. AI War is the most complex RTS I've ever seen, ever heard of. Right. The AI is insane, like years ahead of itself, or, or ahead of the rest of the market. Right. Interesting. And AI War Two came out, <laughs> and I just never set aside time to play it. Um, <clears throat> I've been meaning to, just never did. So okay, so. If okay, if you had to pick a game that you that you want that you've played a little bit of that you just want to play more of, but because of say, whether it's your computer or whether it's um, time restraints or maybe you just didn't want needed people to play with it, what game would you love to play that maybe uh, just only the only obstacle is another you have to have an outside something to work with you whether it's people or oh okay so like a like a co op game or something like that like. I, I use Pixar for an example. I've okay. played Pixar and I've tried to play that hardcore. But it's a survival world, Minecraft meets world. And those games are only just so fun by yourself. So, oddly enough, mine's a single player game. Okay. Right. I've got six hours in it. Okay. I like I gave it an honest shot, really enjoyed it, and then I think I got sidetracked by going to play multiplayer games with people. I was okay. playing single player at the time. 
Middle Earth, Shadow of War. Oh, yep. Because I really like the Tomb Raider. Oh, Tomb Raider, that one too. Oh my god. I, I think that might have been Gamer Joe. Oh, there was there goes Gamer well, Joe. I didn't knock on the door, so. I played the first Tomb Raider, really liked it. Played like eight hours of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Right. And just got sidetracked. But I really like those Arkham, I think it's the Arkham style games. Mm-hmm. I like the combat, I like the collectibles. Right. I, I just it's kind of, I kind of like long Assassin's Creed style games. I, the combat was. Yeah, anyway. except I wasn't big on Assassin's Creed. Right. But I, I really like the Middle Earth game. Yeah. I because I love the war <laughs> Middle Earth, and I really like the Tomb Raider game. I just I don't know. It's like yeah. I, I got super deep into them, like six hours, eight hours, <laughs> like you know, one sitting of like, yes, this is really good. Right. And then I just something else happened. Right. And then it just got set to the side. That yeah, that. There's a funny story about the, sh- the 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 game you're talking about. It's not a multiplayer game, but if you have friends that play that game, mm-hmm. and you're linked to them through the Xbox at least, yep. Whatever they do in their game can affect your game. Oh really? And so, being that Mike is kind of a hardcore gamer, and Katie's not so much. She got that game on the Xbox, and she she downloaded it. She was playing it. Well, if Mike couldn't beat a boss, he'd just leave it. That makes that boss tougher. Oh, yeah. And he tried. There was many bosses he tried four or five times to beat, and every time you lose to him, they get tougher. Yeah. <laughs> so so every boss she'd run up to would be like a super boss <laughs> because Mike, and they were like, the, tag, the accounts were tagged just because they were, were friends on Xbox. And... She's like, I love this game. I can't play it because Mike has ruined it for me. We didn't know how to turn all that off. Mike explained to us how to turn all that off. Yeah. But that was funny. That's a it's, a it's a very clever way of making you play with other people and not really playing with them. But a multiplayer game yep. that I really want to dive into, but you need a, I, I, you need a group of people. Like You cannot play this game by yourself, or at least I haven't figured out a way to. 109 hours. 109 hours in a eco. Yeah, I'm at 100.9, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's you. That's me. Oh, yeah, I'm at like 114, I think. Jeez, I played that way too long. Okay, that's Uh, more than... Barrow Trauma. Never heard of it. It's a game where you're under the ice sheets of the moon Europa around Saturn? Okay. Jupiter. Jupiter. No idea. Fuck, I can't remember. Someone is better at... Astronomy can tell me. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, just... But you, you, you play a sub, and it's a survival horror game mm-hmm. where you run a submarine, and like, you're underwater the whole time. Oh. And, like, there's giant eldritch creatures that come out and attack you. Of course. And, like, there's people that man the guns. You have to repair the electronic systems. And, like, I played a few sessions with some people, and, oh, my God, is it fun. Right. And it, it finally got its 1.0 release, and I'm like, I just need to get a group of people together to play this. Right. But it's not something I could play alone. I don't have the attention span to play it alone. No, I think there's... No, I think that's... Yeah, there's some games that are designed not to be played alone, and I think that is a good example of one of them. Yeah, Pharaoh Trauma. Yeah, that's... There was a game back in the day that was similar to that. I think it was called Sub Hunter, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. It, it was a... I, you had submarines. You were in the German, or you were... A, or you could be allied to, I think. And it was probably the most realistic submarine game I've ever I've played in my this. life. Yeah, you have to like load the torpedoes yeah. and set the... like. Y- um... Yeah, and I think you could play multiplayer on one of the later versions they released. And I'm like... Isn't it like Wolf Hunter or Wolf, something? It might be. I cannot remember the name of the game. I was kind of hoping it'd pop up, but... That's kind of along the lines. Like, I played many hours by myself, and it gets so frustrating because you were like... Literally sitting there on your periscope, scorp on your periscope, on your periscope, sitting there zeroing in, and then you'd have to run over to the torpedo person, take his job over, and shoot the torpedo. The realism of the game was fantastic. Or you get on their the exterior gun of the sub and you shoot. You just it required other people. Sadly, is it Silent Hunter? Wolves Sil- of the Pacific. Silent. Let me look at the. I'll know the minute That's I. It's an see. old game. It is an old game. Yeah, it is. Silent Hunter, yep. Ubisoft, yep. Yeah, I've, se- uh, yeah, I've seen gameplay of that. It looks uh, absolutely so cool. So good. Um, and I think one of the later games was a multiplayer, but you had to go from station to station all the time to get 
So if something got hit, you'd have to go to that station and repair it. Mm-hmm. The whole time, you couldn't shoot torpedoes and stuff because you weren't there. That's how barrel trauma works. It's like, Except uh, it's like this 2D. Right. And like if a hull gets breached, sometimes you have to put on your pressure suit. Oh, nice. Because like if you get caught outside the submarine with a pressure that kind suit, of stuff. you're instantly dead. I love that and stuff. And then there's like spots you can explore. Like the one time we went into an abandoned relay station, and our only job was to turn the power switch back on. Right. Well, so I was the engineer at the time. Or the electrician. Yeah, I was the electrician. And I had the engineer with me. And we got in our pressure suits. And uh, we didn't see any scans of, like, life forms or anything like that. Right. So we go to the door. The pressure suits. I had to wire the door to open it. Then the whole thing flooded. Oh, God. So all the water went in. Because the airlock was open. Right. Of course. So then I had to get in, wire the airlock, shut the main door, open the airlock. It's all water. Swim all the way down. The pumps weren't working, so the mechanic had to repair the pumps. I had to rewire the pumps. Then the water pumps are... Oh, my God. It was just this whole thing. It's just crazy. But we found so much cool shit in there. Right. And it's like, good. Yeah, but then you need to have that reliable player with you. Exactly. And, like, the trouble was I was playing with a guy that, like, his whole <clears throat> mantra was trolling people. I I don't play with him much anymore. Actually, I don't play with him at all anymore. That's probably good. But, like, his he was just that guy. Of like, I have some of those friends. Well, yeah, his whole not. idea of fun in a game is to like agree to do something and then fuck it up on purpose halfway through. Yeah, yeah. And I, like that's fun for him. But it's like what's the purpose? You know, I don't mind that as long as we agreed to do something, we get it done, and then we can mess it up just to see what happens. Yeah. But that's totally different than messing it up all the way yeah, halfway like, through. Like and it's like they mess it up halfway through or they're like, Oh, I'm doing something. Well, what are you doing? And then, boom, they crash into something, and then they start laughing. And they're like, right. well, how is that funny? Like, I don't know. Yeah, Gamer Joe is that kind of guy. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Not our Joe, but the little Jedi Joe. Yes, yes. He's, he's like that. He just he thinks that sometimes doing stupid stuff is fun, and I'm just like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't play like that. I have to play with organization to some extent anyway. Yeah. <sighs> So um, we're, where are we at? We're in games here. Oh, you know what? There's a game, and I've played a lot of hours of it that I would love to play with other people. Because I think it would, one, it would make the game more enjoyable, less grindy. Astroneer. It's a yeah, non, that, that, yeah. It's a really a non-aggressive game. You could die. Well, not die. You run out of oxygen. You respawn at your base. Yeah, that one reminded me of like a a, a pixel space engineers. Yeah. It's a very passive game. You just kind of bebop around, and it's got little fun things. But I think with extra people, it would be just a ton yeah, more it's like fun. Space Engineers. Yeah, kind of that se- same thing. Similar yep. concept. Yep. Great game. Infinitely better. Oh, yeah. Games. I played that solo uh, quite a bit, and I'm like... Why? Like, like it's just a big, empty world. Yeah. It just, and it's, it was at, at the time, I don't even know about now... If it's changed much, there was just nothing. You, I mean, you could explore and find things. There's so much of that game now. It's but, ridiculous. That's good. But again, um, I think it's more fun with friends. Uh, I, I remember playing that when it first released yep. in early access. Yep. 2013, I think. It was a while ago. Yeah. And it's one I was of those playing games in college with a bunch of my college buddies. Yep. And uh, we were pushing that game to its limits at the time. And we had mined out. Like, cause there was this huge asteroid <sighs> field. And so we each designed our own spaceship. Um, it had to be within certain dimensions, yep. but that was the only limit. It's because it had to be able to fly through. We hollowed out a bunch of these asteroids. So you could fly through them. So you could fly through them, and we made a race course. Of course. There you go. And, fun. like, it was really fun. That was one of the most fun times I've had gaming. Okay, since we're on these subjects, and we're kind of jumping around a little bit on the subject, but we're, this is about games that we wish we could do more of or have play more of. Is there an MMO you want to play that you've never got to play because one you, lots of MMOs at least used to be you had to have groups and mm-hmm. they're just no fun without groups yeah you need you need your now they're roles. huh a lot of them you need dedicated roles oh, it's for raids I, and stuff it's not like what that. I thought you said I was like okay anyway we're not going to go over what I thought you said because that's just not PG so um yeah is there a game out there that you wanted to play that you just couldn't find a group to play with or the right group to play with my brother and I uh, it's the only game I've ever gotten him to agree to play with me. Oh. And he actually pitched it. Oh, so um, he sold it to you. I mean, sold you on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I bought a lot of the DLC at the time. I think I bought every DLC it had at the time. 
And we played for... This has got to be a big title. 10, 15 hours? Okay. And, Is this uh, an MMO? Yeah. Okay. And uh, really liked it. Like, we both really liked it. And we just couldn't find more people to play because everybody had already oh yeah gone through it basically. gone so far yeah there's just it's a, it'd be a graveyard until you hit like um, max levels elder scrolls online oh yeah really really want to play game. elder scrolls yeah. online but everybody i've talked to has been like yeah i've done thousand hours of that and i'm like well i haven't i'd love to play you know that kind of thing yeah you'd love, yeah no i hear you i've played a few hours of it of course every time i play it the people that i have played with are to play it aren't there to play but they've also they've also very made the game very not multiplayer friendly i mean like it is multiplayer friendly but it's not because like if you group up with somebody everything seems way too freaking easy yeah like it's already too easy the way it is i don't know i i found we were doing um we did the uh, like little mini bosses you probably need multiple we, we did a couple but... of missions i think or dungeons i think they're yep. called um one was the Briars, the Briar Hearts yep, and all that. Yep, And, like, that felt intense. I was no, like, it is. damn, this is rough. Yeah. That's strong, I suppose, yeah. Maybe, they, maybe they've changed it. I don't know. Maybe they've upgraded the difficulty the more people you have in your group. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think me and, me, and, me and my wife had played a little bit together. It just, like, it was uh, the stuff that I was doing by myself, it just seemed that much easier. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, well, that's, I don't know. Yeah, I found the solo really experience know. to be fairly easy. But uh, the du- the dungeons. I yeah, guess, I've never think, played a lot of dungeons. I so. think that's what it excels at. Yeah, that could be. And that that requires a lot of cooperation and stuff. <sighs> maybe that's what we should do. An maybe MMO. We should, maybe we should get enough of these guys in here to play an MMO that they're willing to dedicate to. Maybe not even these guys. Screw these guys. These guys are flaky. But well, I mean, party composition states we only need four players. That's true. Two deeps, a tank, and a healer. You're good to go. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't mind playing an MMO again. <laughs> Something that was new and different that I haven't played. I'd, I'd be willing to do Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. That might be worth it. I I bet I've played pretty much, I don't even know, almost every MMO out there to some extent or another. Just trying to find that love of the game. And there's been a couple I've come close to. Like um, uh, Mortal, which is a very rough MMO because it's open world PvP twenty four seven. Okay, and there is it's griefer haven. So okay. if you get away from the griefers, that's the problem. You need you need a, a team to play with yeah. because you have four or five noobs. Okay, even the griefer has trouble with four or five noobs. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, well that's good. That's okay. Yeah, that I mean I like Elder Scrolls. Yeah. I like I like to go back to Eve. Honestly. Oh, Eve Online? Yeah, I played, that. I played that with me and my buddy. and uh, I got a couple buddies who were like big yeah, into I, that. I did. My buddy Rob, he played, he was really into it. He was in the number two guild, and he was one of the top like dudes in that number two guild. And at, at the, I think it's, is Eve only one server, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I think it's only one server. But he was in a huge guild. But to get in the guild, you had to get up to a certain level before you uh-huh. get in, before they'd even even consider letting you in. Right. Because they didn't want people making new accounts and jumping in and griefing their guild. Right. Which, I mean, how can you blame them? That game is yeah. terrible for the griefing you can do in it. And the con- and pure chaos that could be in it. And then my buddy Toffer, he he played it. We Him and I played together for a while. And, uh, yeah. And uh, it was hard to get anywhere with just two of us. Because you got one miner... And you need protector ships to protect the miner so you can make money. Or if even if you're transporting from point A to point B, one guy by himself, unless he's got a pimped out ship, you have a lot of trouble. Elite so you take Dangerous a second guy. is another one. I have never played that. I used to play that in VR. I used to do solo runs. Oh, man, that game is awesome. Crazy, yeah. No, so, yeah, that, that I mean, there's a couple of games I wouldn't mind trying. I, I, I would be tempted to go to Elder Scrolls. Who's somebody else in here was just starting to play Elder Scrolls? Do you remember who that was? Was it... Uh... Wasn't it Big D? It, it was I, Big D. I saw D. him on, on, on it the other day. Unfortunately, well, he might actually be with your hours, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm in with those hours. Because Big Seriously, D plays like... like o'clock. Yeah, but then he plays until like 6 in the morning. Yeah. I don't do that, usually. Um, Yeah, M- there's a few MMORPGs. I, I would... Oh, Sea of Thieves is another one. I got big into that uh, game. I got 100 hours in that game. Yeah. Basically solo. How? 
I just got really good at maneuvering a sloop by myself. Yep. Speaking of games that had really great ships, Atlas. I don't know if you... Did you ever play Atlas? No, I... I well, of course, that was like Ark. Yeah. I Same company, it. unfortunately. If another company would have bought that game, made that game, it would have been phenomenal. The ship, the ship combat in that game was so good. Sea of Thieves was really fun. Like, I I, I just don't so like the fun. idea that like I don't mind the idea of PvP and losing your stuff, but I'd have to play with regular people. I couldn't do it. By yeah, you, you, so like, there's the, no way. There's a there's a nice thing about playing solo is you don't have to rely on anybody. Yeah, and if you're in a sloop, you can outrun most ships. Okay, they're just faster. So why wouldn't you play with two people in a sloop? Why would you play with two? Why people? wouldn't you? If if one a sloop can outrun people, most ships, then why wouldn't you play with two people in a sloop? Well, most people like to play in groups of three or four. Yeah, so I suppose that it gets. And then you can many. haul more loot. You can oh. do bigger. So raids. what? Okay, yeah. So what's the whole point, though? I mean, what do you do with this loot? Do you have uh, a base you, you can build, or do you? Uh, have... You exchange it for levels, essentially. Uh, in different categories. So, so the whole goal is to do all loot to get levels? And the one thing I liked about... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the, the thing I liked a lot about the game was there was no equipment upgrades. Okay. Whether you're the top-ranked pirate or the guy just coming in... Right. You have the same equipment. I watched a lot of videos on it. It's, lost a lot, and, of, lot the, of videos. The gameplay is really fun. Must be pretty smooth. And you can just, you can just fish if you want to. Is there safe zones? Like if I just want to be a fisher, could I just go sit off the edge of an island and just fish, or take my boat out yeah. to the bay and just fish and not worry about being technically cannoned yeah. by big monster ships all the time? Um, so I'm into the games like that. I totally am. I just if I don't have the right, it's the same problem we have with any game. If you don't have the right group of people, it sometimes it just takes the fun out of it. it just takes your steam out. Get it? Steam. Okay. Out. So what are some of your this is kind of a off topic. Yep. Do you have like a favorite game that you've played with people? Oh. Like something that you've enjoyed playing either with one person or multiple people? Yeah. Well, are we talking any kind of game, right? Yeah. Yeah. I liked World of Warcraft when it was out and I played with my wife a lot. It, maybe it was just because she was in a healer and I was a tank and so she just followed around and keep yeah. healed. I never had to worry about groups because I was a tank and she was a healer. Yeah. We could go anywhere we wanted in the game. Okay. Nobody ever questioned us. Because everybody's like, I'm DPS. Oh, can I jump in with you? Yeah. And then Ultima Online, that's another MMO that I played. And I like, uh, we're getting out of the MMO world. Uh, I like Empire Earth. I don't like playing it solo anymore. Um, that's a, uh, it's kind of like Age Empires. If you're wondering what the odd noises are, just developed hiccups. <laughs> right. So I, I don't, I, it's a, it's a RTS or, yeah. Right. RTS, building, base, building. Real-time strategy. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus, my brain's not working. And I like that a lot, but I, it's more fun to play with people. My favorite co-op or multiplayer experience yeah. was Portal 2. Never. I, I never played, played it with Portal. my best friend. It Everybody was, else played Portal. I all, I've never played Portal. I've never played Portal 2, the main campaign. The only Portal ex experience I have is playing the co-op. Okay. Uh, with my buddy uh, gamer Luke, and uh, we went through all the stages, all the goose stages, everything, and it was, oh my god, it was so much fun. How do you play Portal Two? How do you play it with a group? It's two people. Yeah, I know, but I mean, well, so there are puzzles where like you'll have to portal the ground, yep, and then he'll have to portal somewhere that you're gonna land to make you pop out even further. Okay, or gotcha. like you put a portal on the floor and a portal on the ceiling and you have one player fall through that portal keep falling 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 and get faster and faster and faster and then eventually you shoot your portal gun and change the portal output and then they just get launched <laughs> okay that's sounds... like there's some really cool really clever ways to solve puzzles interesting in that sounds interesting <laughs> no i yeah okay that's yeah you got that's, me there it's a little off topic um yeah there's there's so Many games I want to play. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just do that forever. You gotta do other things in life too. At yeah. least for me, I gotta do some work still and this and that. And I mean, technically, I could just quit and not do anything. But then I wouldn't have anybody to game with because half half the people I game with now, I 
wrangling from the store here. So, yeah. anyway, all right. So that's a long, long podcast today, which is fine. Good, good to get to the. I like the thirty-minute podcast personally. And well, until next time. Anything else? Uh, hopefully, the hiccups stop. Okay. <laughs>